I was once proud to be that individual, and now I'm ashamed of it. I am ashamed of who I was. I realize who I was, what I was to society. I was a monster. Rene Enriquez has spent more than half of his life behind bars. I can never rid myself of who I was, uh, but it's not who, who I am now. Serving two life sentences, this made Mexican mafia member nicknamed Boxer has led a life of crime, responsible for at least a dozen murders and running a criminal enterprise from behind bars. Being at the top is an awesome responsibility, but it's also an awesome amount of, 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 uh, of power. And again, that is intoxicating to walk down a corridor and have people giving you salutations, go to a prison and they know you immediately even though you've never met them. Enriquez could have made other choices. He grew up in a middle class neighborhood with an entrepreneurial father. It's very difficult. I feel that uh, I disappointed him and my mother. He had such aspirations for me. Even when I was in prison, he would encourage me, leave son, it's not too long, it's not too late to change. He now tries to remove the labels, especially the telltale black hand that marks his membership in the Mexican Mafia. He renounces his membership, a choice that comes with a death sentence. But my concept of the organization was skewed. I thought it was silk suits, limousines, hot chicks, all the money in the world. There was none of that when I got in the organization. It was infighting, deception. He works with the people he once warred against, the FBI and police officers. So I have a lot of regrets. I think the hardest part is that I wasted my whole life. I've lost decades. As part of the operation In the Hat, Enriquez's testimony against mafia members helped to put about three dozen of them in prison. I'm at peace with myself as an individual, as a man, and uh, I'm in the process of making amends. Enriquez also helps investigators decipher messages the Mexican Mafia members are sending from prison to call hits on people and move drugs. The Mafia member only helped authorities, though, after he feared his best friend was ordered to kill him. I knew that my mob career was spinning out of control. There was nothing I could do about it. All my allies had gotten indicted a few years before and went to federal prison, and uh, I was among adversaries. Working with the authorities is buying Enriquez numerous perks he could not get in prison with the Mafia. Protection, time out of solitary, and time out of the joint. He admits he hopes the training he does with investigators will buy him freedom. At least he hopes others will learn from his mistakes. Your family will die, your brothers and sisters will die, your parents will die, and you won't be there with them. And it's all for something you don't even own. A street, a territory, a gang, the barrio. You don't own it. You're killing for it and you're dying for it.